Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Old friends come in and move out of life, while new friends show up to fill the spaces left behind. Yes. We might not like it, but eventually everyone learns that nothing can escape change forever. No matter how fraught with danger it may seem, the lure of adventure cannot be denied. Sometimes the danger itself is the pull. Some heroes just want to be the one to discover the next ancient secret, to wield strange new powers. This new threat was more personal than any that had come before, and the fight for their lives shook the foundation of everything they thought possible. But in the end, the town was saved. The heroes had won the day, and everyone could believe for just one moment that maybe things really hadn't changed at all. And then, that moment passed. <laughs> Guess Jack's eye wasn't enough for it. I wish to speak with Jesse, the gauntlet bearer. What's going on? Where'd it come from? Well, quit wishing, admin, because I'm right here. I know. That's why I was like, looking right at you. Come, speak with me face to face. Oh boy. Admin? Have you ever heard of such a thing? Jesse? What's going on here? Gauntlet Bearer? That is all rather suspicious, isn't it? No kidding. Uh, here's the thing, everyone. He's calling me the Gauntlet Bearer because of this uh, gauntlet thing that I found. It won't come off, and I guess that makes me like his chosen one or something. Okay, so an admin, a huge colossus in our door. I'm all right with not freaking out yet. You're going to fix this, right, Jesse? You won't let it destroy Beacon Town, will you? Oh, I'm sure Jesse must have thought of something. I hope you're right. I've got an idea for everyone. It involves these, especially this one. Maybe I'll go hide somewhere then. <clears throat> I would like to proceed, Gauntlet Bearer. Do not test my patience. Guess you should get up there. Gauntlet bearer. Clay, come in your way. Thanks, Nell. Perfect. Ah, there you are, Jesse. Loved what you did with the Witherstorm. Awesome stuff. <laughs> this is going to be perfect. You've got the knack. You are acting very weird, Mr. Admin. What's your game here? Game? Ha! Huh. Why, the greatest game of all. That's why I left you the gauntlet. You left it? To tempt you down to the Sea Temple. Your true test begins. It is time you no! fight. Me. Fight me, champion. Unless you'd like to see that happen to your entire town. Who knows what I'll do next? <laughs> oh. 
Enough talk, let's fight. <clears throat> Hold on. Aha! Fighting in broad daylight is boring. Let's add some drama. Oh, he's powerful. So much for them. <laughs> Just you and me now, champion. Don't let them down. Jesse, really not good. Beacon Town is gonna be like, like, one big smash fest to this guy. Ugh, not even Miss Butter's gonna do anything against that Colossus. We need something bigger, like, uh... Like the structure block! Buy me time. I'm gonna plant some arrow towers. That should make tall, dark, and ugly regret smashing my town. One major distraction coming up. Go, Jesse! Hey, Stoneface! Over here! Yeah, that's right! Your courage is so much larger than your puny size. Oh, let's see how you deal with the enchanted deliciousness of Miss Butter! I could pick my teeth with that blade. I'll take you down one block at a time! <laughs> Distraction, Jesse. Uh, the, the, where's the structure block? Ha <laughs> ha. Finders keepers. This tiny thing won't save you, Jesse. Not from me. Okay, this is a little intense, but I guess a giant colossus did follow me oh. home. Hide and seek is beneath you, Jesse. The champion should be better than this. Sea Temple had the same symbol. Something. Uh, Kay, are you all right? 
I mean, he really had you up there. Lucas, you just saved my life. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> I always wanted to ride into battle. I sure hope you got an idea here. I saw a spot on the back of his head that I'm hoping might be the key to defeating him. Sounds like I better keep him distracted then. Thanks, Lucas. Be careful. Come now, Jesse. All this stalling is just making me angrier. Hey, Lockhead! You want Jesse? You need to go through me first. And I don't think you stand a chance. You're protecting Jesse. Please. All these interruptions are becoming annoying. That ends now. See what you got. Yeah. Not in there. Yeah. Yeah. I knew you'd come eventually. You don't know anything about me. Where are you? Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. Sure would be a pity if... Oops. No! You're gonna wish you hadn't done that, Admin. Oh, boy. Do you really yeah. think you can defeat me, Jesse? I don't think... I know. Confidence. The mark of a true hero. was really something. Stay behind me, Stampy! Ah, don't let the Googlies touch me! Oh man, these are gonna keep coming in until we get the sun back up. Any idea how to use it?
thing could be super dangerous. How sure are you that this admin guy is gone? You make a compelling point, Lucas. My hand is still trapped in this freaky gauntlet. <sighs> yeah. Not to be a worrier, but he might not be as dead as we hope. I I'm worried enough for both of us. Someone should keep an eye on this thing. Yeah. I can take first watch. Actually, <clears throat> actually, I'll volunteer. I want to help. Jesse, I'd say we both do it, but one of us should really get started on the repairs. It's a nice gesture, but maybe you should just let me handle it. Look, I promise. Then the minute I see anything out of the ordinary, I'm coming to get you as fast as my hustle sticks will carry me. My, my uh, my legs. Come on, Jesse, I can do this. Jesse's left me in charge before. This is a whole new level, though. Sorry, Radar. We really need someone a little sturdier keeping an eye on this. I think Lucas should do it. I see. Fair warning. I am just going to take Radar's plan of running to get help if anything happens. That was a good plan. <laughs> Thanks. So what are you going to do now? I figured I'd start with Ruben's memorial. Got pretty trashed. Oh, man. Well, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. That admin just... No respect. I appreciate that. It feels pretty bad. We're gonna put the pieces back together, though. You'll see. And, um... When I asked you what you're gonna do, I was actually talking about that glove of yours. So I gotta tell you, Jesse, this whole admin thing, it's... Well, it's very you, I guess, is what I'm saying. Well, I know you say you're trying to settle down and run Beacon Town, but... It just seems like you can't quit that life, you know? I mean, you don't exactly see Axel and Olivia getting mixed up in stuff like this. Well, maybe you're right. Well, today goes to show that the people will love you no matter what. I, uh, I didn't say any of that stuff to be mean. Okay, we've had a ton of adventures, and I just want you to be happy. I mean, that's what that little pig wanted for all of us. So go rebuild that monument of his. I'll stay and guard the clock. Thanks, Lucas. Okay, let's see what we can do for you, buddy.
There, now that is a monument fit for Reuben. I know I never met Robin. Reuben. Oh, right. Righteous. Oh, by the way, Petra was looking for you before. Over that away. Thanks, Nell. Come on, you remember Twisting Death Cavern? You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Uh, they all just start to blur together after a while. Hey guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. Uh, she should be back in a second. Oh, uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> just stunning. Yeah. I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. It was... artful. Well, it's not like it was my first battle against an impossible foe. No? Witherstorm. I'll get you the book. It's actually a pretty good read. I think I've got a copy back at the shop. It's a little sad that the legendary Jack, the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake, has been reduced to some... Uh, what tour guide? Voss. That's why I think this adventure to Twisting Death Cavern is just what you need to be <coughs> sure. What you should continue to keep just uh, the talking about for someday uh, far off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. Love theoretical conversations. Wow, I thought Jack was a bad liar. But you're pretty terrible at it too, Voss. Uh, yes, okay, fine. We have a new adventure planned. Hang on, hang on, I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Hmm. Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the better. Wait, you're leaving with these guys? Uh, yeah. And that's, uh, yeah, that's why we were, um, being weird before and, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, bus possible stuff. That's cool, I guess. Is this really that important to you? I... yes, kind of. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just... Whoa, wait, what? It's impossible. This isn't a snow biome. The admin. The one and only. I had so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait, you're the admin? Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> Just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. Well, it's kind of cuddly, right? Fighting a giant statue in the middle of town? Uh, okay, yeah, that was kind of cool. Ah, uh, see? I knew you'd know what I was talking about. See, you four 
Went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes, you're perfect for my creations. Perfect. Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Not again. You hear that? That's a diamond-class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. You're insane! It'll stand a chance, Admin. I'm gonna stop each and every one of your monsters. Ooh, a hero with attitude. I love it! I really do! Ahem! <clears throat> your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night. Forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs. Until... You recapture that club. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. It's simple. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Oh, it is. I mean, I don't want to brag, but it is, like, <laughs> really hard. Fine. We accept your challenge. I'm gonna get that clock, and then you're next. Ooh, that one gave me the shivers. You are legit, Jesse. Very excited. Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? <laughs> Why? Well, because it's fun, obviously. I mean, this is gonna be epic. <laughs> You think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Ah, oh, strays. Pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember, find the clock, save the town. Bye-bye now. Ah, oh, we need to protect the people! Run! Hide, everyone! Got a bad feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Jesse, it was the craziest thing. That clock just vanished from under my nose. I know. Now the situation is just gonna get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. I'm coming too. I was happy to stay behind and watch Beacon Town last time you left, but this time I want to do more. If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Really? Oh man, proud of you, Radar. Really? Of course! Well, I... I won't let you down. All right, everyone, we've got a clock to find. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Mm. I promise, I will come back. Hmm. You stay safe, Nurm, okay? Hmm. Is that thing gone? Yeah, for now. I mean, block this up after we leave, would you? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, Nurm. Hmm. We're all counting on you. I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. <laughs>